It's a huge pleasure uh, to welcome our speaker this afternoon. Catherine Hall is Professor of Modern British Social and Cultural History at University College London and her research focuses on rethinking the relationship between um, Britain and its empire from the late 18th century onwards. And many of us here will know her as the author of numerous influential publications. Uh, there are far too many to mention, so I'm not going to list them all. Um, but I just thought I'd mention two or three um, which had a profound influence on me when I started reading um, about women's history in Birmingham and also about Birmingham's connections with, with the wider world. Starting, of course, with the groundbreaking family fortunes, men and women of the English middle class, 1780 to 1850, which he published with Leonor Davidoff in 1987. Then we have White, Male and Middle Class, Explorations in Feminism and History, published in 1992. And of course, Civilising Subjects, Metropole and Colony in the English Imagination, 1830 to 1867, which came out in, in 2002, and which explored um, the identities of both coloniser and colonised in Britain and Jamaica in that period. Her recent biography, Macaulay and Son, Architects of Imperial Britain in 2012, focused on the significance of Thomas Macaulay and his son in defining the parameters of nation and empire in the early 19th century. Catherine has also, as some of you will know, uh, led on two major projects over recent years, uh, Legacies of British Slave Ownership, uh, and the project that followed that, the structure and significance of British Caribbean slave ownership, 1763 to 1833. But our main reason for inviting Catherine here today is the small pamphlet, uh, Birmingham Women Past and Present, um, which I was overjoyed to find when I started to work in the archives in Birmingham um, several years ago now, and which for many years I've thought we need to do something with this. And here we are. So, Catherine. Well, thank you very much, Sean. And I must say, it's a, it's a real pleasure to be here and to see some old friends and some new friends today. And I'm always happy to be in Birmingham. We lived here for 17 years, and it was a very, very important uh, period of my life. And I've done lots of work on Birmingham, and it just is a very, very special place for me. So I always get a thrill coming from New Street Station. <laughs> I don't really like <laughs> the new um, way they've done it, but anyway, it's an improvement, I can see that. And my friend Joachim and I walked through and I've just seen the hole <laughs> where the library was, which was a bit shocking. And of course, when I started doing work on Birmingham, which is a long, long time ago, um, I was working in the old reference library, the old Victorian building, which was a lovely building. Uh, the only problem was that there were buckets for where the drips came through, which wasn't great in a place that was full of archives, but it was a lovely old room. Then I moved, of course, to the building which I never cared for as a building, but it was a great place to work in local studies and in the archives there. Um, and now, of course, you've got the grand new library, um, but with a reduced access, I think, to archives. Uh, I taught, I mean, it was a great pleasure to come into the Birmingham Midland Institute. We stopped at the corner and looked at that beautiful Victorian building, the art school, which is such a lovely building, and then here, which is also, I think, a great Victorian building. And I taught here for about, I reckon for about eight years in the 1970s. And that was the very beginning of women's studies and women's history. And of course, if you look now in a library at women's studies or women's history or gender history, you'll find shelves of stuff. Well, at that time, there was absolutely nothing. So the first if I remember rightly, the first class I taught was called Women in Society. And so, you know, we we're just kind of, okay, what's the subject, you know? How might we find out about it? 
And then I started teaching women's history, which of course nobody had ever heard of. And I have to say that I was able to do that because the University of Birmingham extramural department, which I believe doesn't exist anymore in that form, adult education was such an important aspect of the educational system at that time, and they supported me teaching women's history here for years. Anyway, when we first began, you know, I think the first class was called Women in History, and then it began to be women in the 18th century, women in the 19th century, women in the medieval period, women in the 20th century, and it went into uh, lots of the people who came, came back year after year, and we did the work together. It became a kind of collaborative research group and ended up with a group of us working on the 1950s. And that piece of work was then published as a piece of collaborative writing in Feminist Review, which had, I think it was in the second uh, issue of Feminist Review. Um, so I'm talking about 1978, I think. Uh, and it was called, I can't remember what. Anyway, it was, you know.